Kansas high schools have become the latest victims in mass swatting calls across the nation. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Scott and I'm Deb Ferris. It all started at Wichita North High this morning when someone called 911 reporting an active shooter at the school. The report quickly proved to be a hoax. Case Pilar Pedraza is live at North High tonight with a look at the nearly dozen Kansas schools impacted by this national trend. Pilar. Deb, it's quiet out here now, but this morning this area was bright with the flashing lights of emergency vehicles teaming with law enforcement officers trying to find that reported active shooter who was not here. And Wichita North High, it was just one of, as you said, nearly a dozen schools in that same situation. All units are off to a possible shooting at Free State High School. The scenes like this from a Lawrence police officer's body cam repeated over and over again Wednesday morning as law enforcement scrambled to save lives. Officers arrived, we cleared the building. Lives that were never in any actual danger. Through the search of the high school, uh, we received information through an outside source that this was possibly a hoax. Police say it all started at Wichita North High shortly before 8 a.m. Then came nine more calls, nine more high schools from Liberal to Lawrence, El Dorado to Colby, all under lockdown as teachers, staff, and students wondered what was going on. I was a little shocked, but I was just trying to make sure my friends and family were okay. Then we saw policemen walk by with their guns, so we kind of knew like what was kind of happening. So we got in a little shelter in place. The students we spoke with expressing shock, fear, and anger when they found out it was all because someone called in a false report. The National Association of School Resource Officers says swatting calls have targeted dozens of schools in at least 39 states, 40, including Kansas, on Wednesday. I think it's really childish. We hope that it never happens again, but we know it will happen again. <laughs> That's not something to like mess around with. It was a fake call, but still, that's not that funny to do because you put like a bunch of kids in danger. Now, after a deadly swatting incident here in Wichita a few years ago, the state legislature actually changed the law, increasing the penalty for making a fake call like that. That makes it now a felony if you report a crime that you know is not happening. Live in Wichita, Pilar Pedraza, Cake News on your side.